So South Africa go through to the fifth place final. And they were yeah. so unlucky to miss out on a cup semi-final, falling to England on the last play of the game earlier today. New Zealand losing to Canada. This is the fifth place semi-final. New Zealand against Canada. And here comes Regan Ware. Plenty of pace in those legs. And Andrew Newstub has to shake off the defence of Brian Tanga. And he sends it across field here. Bodin Waka to the danger man for the All Blacks, Joe Ravulvu, but he's flung that to nobody. And it's fallen into the hands of Billy Ondiambo. And here's Bushamwale. Dennis Ombachi. Brian Tanga. Tanga. Tangles through for Kenya. A nice strike first here against New Zealand. Tanga strikes with one of the biggest strides in World Rugby. He's not the tallest of chaps, as you can see, but he's lethal in broken field. Ravuvu, speculative offload, it's a turnover. This is what the Kenyans play on. Broken field play. Newstead puts in a sizable shot. Ball fed across to this man. Look at the pump there. Gets on the outside of Ormond. You've got no chance. The flailing, desperate tackle. Luckily, not getting a boot in your face for your troubles, but that's great running from Tanga. Five foot one, he's listed at Brian Tanga. But look at that dummy, the show and the go. And he's under the sticks. Well played. Well, to around the world who's told they're not big enough, case in point. He's not big in stature, but his heart is bigger than that of a lion. Bodin Waka and the New Zealand team look on and accept this restart from Kenya, but they've won it back to Kenyans. Well played from them. Ormond. Waka gives it off to Rabugu on the far side here. Well, what a tackle from Odi Ambo there. You see Ravovo when he is in full flight. He is pretty frightening to see. And he's felt him as such. I think he might have even injured him. Yeah, time off here from the referee. Concerned for Joel Ravovo. You mentioned technical tackle there. Fens out. I mean, that is one of the most textbook tackles you will see. Ravovo's six foot five, but his ankles are the same height as most people around the world. If you take him there, you're going to fell him, and that was a great tackle. Billy Oriambo, number five for Kenya with that tackle. He's on his feet. Probably really good to see. He's been a real find for the New Zealand Sevens. Debut last week in Hong Kong, six tries. But here come Kenya, leading this fifth-place semi-final by seven points to nil. Nelson Oyu to Aguero. Playing scrum half there is Tanga once more. Kenya trying to stretch the New Zealand defence. Bushamwale cuts inside. Using all the width in the world here, they've got Kenya. Just tripping as he runs there is on Bachi, but they keep the ball. And chipping over the top now is Aguero. Can he regather? Bodin Wackers back for New Zealand. And he decides to put boot to ball. But that's gone straight into the hands of Brian Tanga. Oh, and look at him go, Tanga. Stepping, turning, twisting, evading the New Zealand tacklers. They go quickly. Oriambo looks for the offload. Aguero plays scrum half. Bursting through here is Derek Maya Dulo. And Dulo dances through the Kenya second. Well, speaking of dancing, you may well see a bit. His first try in his World Rugby Sevens career. And why not celebrate that? And it comes from typical Kenyan play. You see four Kenyans in shot there. They don't play with width. They don't necessarily need to. It's about intimidation tactics and running pretty hard. He's embraced by his teammates, celebrating his first score. HSBC World 7s at its very best for the Kenyans. Conversion successful. So still with over two and a half minutes left to go in this 
first half of this fifth place semi final, and it's Kenya who lead New Zealand by 14 points to nil. The Stuns get a nice mix in this Kenyan side, they've always got the brutal physicality, that's always going to be there for these Kenyans. They're also developing some nice balanced runners, I like the look of Tanga, they need to get him involved more, he starts creating spaces for these huge line runners that these New Zealanders at this moment in time cannot deal with. Back underway, still two minutes to go, plenty of time for New Zealand to get back into this half. Here's Ormond, Lewis Ormond shakes off Tanga. Puts the hammer down, Orman. But that's Ombachi getting back. So good on defences. Dennis Ombachi for Kenya. Waka at scrum half. Ing Shu runs at the line. Offload. And this will be a try for Trail Joas. New Zealand responding. Mentioned at the top of the game, he ran out, led the team. That is a very, very honourable thing to do for any All Blacks team, specifically this sevens one. And it's too hard for him, wasn't it? First of all, Orman, and then we see it again in midfield there. And Shu just powering his way through. And speaking of power, that is personified. And this man got the knee heavily strapped. And I'm not surprised running with those quads. Powered his way through. Odin Waka with the conversion attempt, no problem. So seven points the difference now. Kenya leading New Zealand. Trail Jolas out of the Tasman province. The top of the South Island in New Zealand. Bodin Waka with the restart responsibilities for the All Black Sevens. Sends it high in the direction of Joe Ramubu, but Kenya come down with it once again. Slightly more urgent in that part of the game at the moment, Kenya. Ball's gone to floor and Ormond's onto it. Energy from the 13th man for New Zealand, and they need it. Well dragged in there from the try scorer, Trail Joas. Sets up a up just inside the Kenyan 22. Here's Waka. Waka. Cheeky feet from Waka. Ravuvu. Decides to stop and send it over the other side. Numbers on the far side for New Zealand. Regan Ware gives it to Ormond. Juggles it, does well to haul it in with the big right mitt. Joas brought down by OU. Play on, says the referee. Now he calls the penalty. Final play, climbs up, times up on the clock in this first half. We will see it out. And they're just taking the time now. They never got the one shot. Big power play. And with that, some big power runners. You look inside there. Waka trying to get his hands on it. He's going to pick off the defenders. And you've got Yoas and Newstub looking to run some pretty solid lines on this. Foreman gets us started. Waka, little dummy. Go back the short side, New Zealand. Back to Ormond. Clever set play. Off the penalty. And Ormond's in. Good time to score, and a good score it was also. Foreman back in this New Zealand team. Set-piece play, looking to just jack back there. He knows Wacker's going to give the pump. Cut line there, we see coming back line. You're picking off two-on-ones, it's going to be easy. Ormond walking in, despite Tanger trying to get anywhere near him out wide. Good play by that New Zealand team. That's the switch play, the one Carlton Arnold tells me they call fish. Waka with the conversion to level it up. He's chipped it very high, but it's not quite got the direction. But it's game on here in the fifth place semi final. Kenya leading it by two. Odin Waka will get us restarted here in the fifth place semi final. And flying high there for New Zealand is Lewis Orman. Really good performance from him so far. The 13th man for the All Black Sevens, but it has gone over the sideline, it'll be a line-up for Kenya. Yeah, the Tens have done a world of good, it's a great place to go, and get your confidence up, and quite bizarre at times, playing for the Penguins with a couple of English representatives as well, so you go from being teammates to playing against each other in this environment, it's a really interesting mixture. Brian Tanga, try score in the first half, throws to the line-out. Andrew Amonde, number eight.
for Kenya. The captain is off the bench. He's been immense for Kenya this weekend. So unlucky they were to lose to England in their cup quarterfinal earlier on. Defending champions here in Singapore, of course, but they won't have a chance to defend that trophy this weekend as they're playing for fifth place now. Bushamwale sets up a rut. That one's gone forward off Amonde, but penalty coming. Amonde gets us restarted. Tanga. It's a good tackle that brings down Frank Wanyama. He's come off the bench as well, and penalty going New Zealand's way this time. And that was outstanding for Auburn there. The tackle was such that there was no ability for the Kenyan player on the floor there to try and play it. Auburn then got back on his feet, which is the actual measure of a completed tackle in sevens. When teams are analysing how they do with that, it's called the bounce, how quick you get back to your feet. And it was wonderful play, Ormond, getting the ball for his team. Here is Lewis Orman. To Waka. Andrew Newstuff in midfield, but running slightly across field to Regan Ware. Mabuvu. Trail Joas. Try score in the first half. Look at the power of the man. He's made 20 metres, Joas. In shoe to Waka. Waka, a little hitch kick from Waka. Plenty of pace too. A boating Waka puts New Zealand in front. And he's wearing the right number on the back of his shirt to pull out tricks like that. Waka showing his abilities. What it is, he slows people down in sevens and written rule. If you slow down, the defence slows down. And he uses that perfectly. He runs straight, gets on the outside of big old boys there. And Frank Wanyama cannot keep up with Waka when he hits that outside line. Wonderful hitch kick, wonderful break. And here is Bodin Waka. Taranaki looking for the conversion. Can't quite get it, just slips to the right. New Zealand lead it now 17 to 14. Three minutes 40 to go. Game's in the balance. Gee, these players must be exhausted by now. Rob Vickham and deep into finals day. Second weekend of a two tournament fortnight. Huge demands on these players. There is, and you heard the tactics at half-time, Scott Waldron looking for them to try and play with width, tire out these Kenyans. Sam Dixon's come off, and he's won the restart for New Zealand, as he so often does. Waka again. On the run around Waka. And that pass has gone off the boot of Regan Ware, straight into the hands of Brian Tanga. Here come Kenya, in their own 22. Three minutes to go, they're down by three. Dangerous pass there across to Odiambo, but he does well to reel it in. Sione Molly is off the bench, and look at the counter-rucking from Sam Dixon. And you have somehow managed to win this and sneaking around the short side. It's Dennis Ompachi. Cuts inside. Ompachi doesn't need support. What a handoff. He's beaten half the New Zealand team there. Dennis Ombachi. What a finish. He's enjoyed every single moment of that Ombachi. Very, very rare in sevens rugby. You see eight men in a rook, but that is what you're seeing on shot there, which means there's going to be a whole host of space. Enough for this man to feast. One fend gets out the second one with a step and then bang off Orman. Gets a nice little bit of acceleration on the back of his chest and he flies through. So good to see these Kenyans doing this. Sending out love to the world. So the game shifts again, conversion successful. Kenya 21 17 now. 90 seconds left. What's it going to take, Rob Vickerman, for New Zealand to get back into this game now? Well, they mentioned about playing with width. That works if you keep hold of the ball. Two errors out wide have been costly. They've got to go back to direct running with offloads. Sione Molia 
no problem with that restart for him. Kenya happy to trust their defence here. Here's Sam Dixon. Runs into contact and look at Amonde looking for the turnover. And he's won it for Kenya. And he'll tap it and go quickly. And he's got a man with him. It's the hands of Frank Wanyama that can't quite reach out far enough to reel it in that pass. And perhaps Amonde just went a bit too quickly there. He did, but he saw an opportunity, didn't he? If he's going to pass the ball out wide to a man that's been finishing all day, Frank Wanyama, as you've seen on shot, disappointed with that. But one thing you do not want to do if you're a New Zealand player is run at the feet of Andrew Amonde. He's as big as a tree. The roots just enveloped Sam Dixon there, and he threw himself over, and you are not going to move him. Speculative play by the Kenyans, and that is where they can be very dangerous. Well, both of Andrew Amonde's parents are school teachers. And he gave New Zealand a lesson at the breakdown there. Coach. So, 25 Five. seconds left. Set. Four points the difference. A try will win it for New Zealand. Bodin Waka feeds the scrum. Here they go. They'll have to go the length. They're more than capable of doing it. Ormond stepping off low from Ormond. And Chu up to the halfway line. Dixon with the clear out. I, mean, I saw that coming in from a fair way away. We mentioned how big a Monday is. Bodie Wackers just felt the full force of his shoulder there. Referee decided that it was intentional. I would question that. He's not that type of player. But what it has done is given another opportunity for New Zealand to really get amongst it and then bringing Kuroi on have got someone that can create something from nothing. The hot-stepping 18-year-old Villamoni Koroi is out there. Here he is, Vili Koroi. He decides the long cutout pass to Regan Ware. Regan Ware's got wheels inside the Kenyan 22. Dixon. Here come the All Black Sevens. Hung Shu. Slightly backward pass there to Ormond. Ormond's got to look for the offload. Doesn't need it. And he somersaults over the line, does Lewis Ormond. And that'll win it for New Zealand. They've come back against Kenya here, and they are in the fifth-place final. Well, it all comes from patient build at work. Individual players taking them on with collective effort, and Ormond stopped start, he got a stopper pass, held his momentum, but what a finish as he dives into the corner. Big fan, Frank Diamond cannot deal with it. And how about that for a put down? Well, Lewis Orban, 13th man this weekend. Where's he been? Fabulous game from him. He keeps playing like that, he won't be wearing 13 for long. For the second game in a row, Kenya have been beaten on the final play. The defending champions go out, and New Zealand win it 24 to 21. They are into the fifth place final.